Talk Time with Reed Moriarty. So are you ready, John Bartlett? I'm ready. All right. I know you got a pretty long list there, though. Those are the questions. <laughs> so let's get started. We're here at Bartlett's Farm. We're here to interview John Bartlett. It's good to see you, it's John good Bartlett. To see you, Reed. So, John Bartlett, who's your farmer? Uh huh. Well, my dad's my farmer. Of course, John <laughs> Bartlett. Will you tell me the secret to the success of Nantucket's oldest and largest farm for seven generations? Wow. You, you want a short answer? Of course. <laughs> um, practice. What do you mean by that, well, John Bartlett? Well, we've been doing it for seven generations, so we have a lot of summers that we've been through. So we've tried a lot of different things, and we found the ones that worked. All right, Sean Bartlett, do you have a favorite vegetable? Um, my favorite vegetable is the newest vegetable to come in. What's it called, Sean Bartlett? Well, right now it's probably cantaloupe. Cantaloupe? Wow. That's awesome. Are there any vegetables you do not like? Uh, I like all the vegetables. Well, I don't like kale. What? That's why why a, don't you like kale? Because it's gross. <laughs> and I think onions are gross too. Okay? Even cooked? You don't like them cooked? Well, you only can put them right on the grill. Onions are good cooked, but I don't think they taste good. So, John Bartlett, do you have a green thumb as a kid? I did. I, my first job was when I was six years old. What did you do around six, John Bartlett? I picked radishes and cut parsley. All right. So what do you love most about living on Nantucket, John Bartlett? Um, just being outside and enjoying the sun and the sand and the water. All right. What has stayed the same about Nantucket since you picked parsley here as a kid? Um, what has stayed the same? Uh, a lot of things have changed, but the farm, the farm has changed. We've grown a lot. My brothers are working with me. Is there anything that stayed the same, John Bartlett? We're still growing vegetables. Of course. Could you tell me a story about Nantucket in the winter, John Bartlett? Uh, February is my favorite month on Nantucket because it's really quiet and the days are getting longer. And there's lots of cold days, but they're usually clear, and the light is really soft at that time of year. All right. So, John Bartlett, I understand you went to Cornell University. I did. How did you stay in touch with them? Um, did I stay in touch with Cornell University? Well, I don't know if you know this, but my mom was born in Ithaca. Really? And my mom and dad went to Cornell. Of course, maybe Cap McCourt went to Cornell. Wow. I didn't know she went to Cornell, too. All right, Sean Bartlett, when it's your turn to cook for the family, what's your specialty in the kitchen? Ooh, I make a pretty mean Caesar salad. Ooh. A mean Caesar salad? I love it. So where do you see Bartlett's farm in 10 years from now? I see Bartlett Farms doing a lot of the same things we're doing now and um, maybe making some ice cream. <laughs> All right, John Bartlett, do you know the juice guys? Um, I do know the juice guys. Not really well, but they're I... about my age. I had a chance to invest. Well, there's an ice cream place on Nantucket called the Juice Bar, right. and they have juice guys there. They do. Their daughter goes to school with my daughter. I interviewed Ron last year. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's really a good guy, John Bartlett. He's really into soccer. Did, really did into soccer? Yeah. Okay, let's play a game. What are we going to play, Reed? Kale or spinach, John <laughs> Bartlett? It's kale for me. All right. Nantucket nectar or snapple, John Bartlett? Uh, Nantucket nectar. Of course. Do you like kale chips or Cape Cod chips, John Bartlett? <laughs> Cape Cod chips. Because you're all about Nantucket. That's right. Do you like 
cranberries or blueberries, Ooh, John Bartlett. I got to go with blueberries on that Of one. course, blueberries. I love blueberries, too. Do you know so, what the other... There's three native fruits to North America. What are they, John Bartlett? You just told me, too. And there's one more. There's one more? So there's a cranberry. Yes. A blueberry. Blueberry. And a... I can't remember. And the Concord grape. Concord grape? Yep. That's awesome. So, John Bartlett, what movie have you watched the most times? <laughs> what movie have I watched the most times? Um, I don't know. Maybe The Terminator? Okay. I, <laughs> I think the movie I have watched the most times was Mary Poppins. It's probably, actually, I have to take that back. It's probably Harry Potter because my daughters love Harry Potter. Okay. And they've probably watched the movies about 50 times. So I have a new favorite movie, The Jungle Book, the old one with Phil Harris. Oh, wow. That's a classic. I'm so glad I got to interview you. Oh, is there anything you'd like to ask me, John mm. Bartlett? How many interviews do you do a year? A lot. There's 50, 50 on. podcasts on wow. SoundCloud, okay? Well, I interviewed Captain Eric. Captain did you go up in the, in the wheelhouse? I think I did. Okay. That's pretty cool. I've never been up there. You should listen to Captain Eric. He'd be awesome for you. All right. What have you been doing on Nantucket for fun? Well, I've been going to some beaches. Yeah? It's do really awesome. Do you do any boogie boarding? Mm-hmm. And I think after this interview, I think we should go to the juice bar and the beach. There you go. Sounds like a plan to me. How about a picture, John Barley? Talk time with Reed Moriarty.